Welcome back. In this video, we are going to see another one of the important command of Unix and name of that command is unique command. Unique command will help to identify between the duplicate values in a file. Okay. Its syntax will be look like this. Unique. After that, options will become. And after that, input. Okay. Now, before we start seeing us some example of this unique command, you need to know one thing about unique command. Unique command always identifies or it works on the unique values which are in consecutive order. So what does that mean? For that, to explain that, what I will do, I am going to create one file. Let's say file name I will create um, data.txt. Data dot txt so here i am going to create my name aditya aditya here i am again i am going to create another name rohan rohan another one is mohan okay again i am going to create aditya okay and here I will add one more name, Rohan. Okay, now save it. Now I will use the unique command. By default, we don't have to use any option. By default, what it will print? It will print all the, all the. It will discard all the repetition of the values. If there are multiple names, sir, will come. Multiple names are available in a file. Then it will print only one name. For example, I have mentioned Mo Rohan two times, right? So when I will execute this command, so by default it will print only one. Okay. Now let's execute the unique data. Dot text. Now you can see that one thing. Rohan came only once, but Aditya came twice. That's because unique command only works in a consecutive order. So to work a unique command. Either you have to keep the name in a sorted order, or you can use the sort command, and after that you can implement unique command. Okay, uh, how? Let's write a sort command here. Sort data dot text. Now you can see that Aditya, Mohan, Rohan, all the names are in sorted order. Now I'm going to use sort data dot text. Now unique. Now you can see that. Aditya came one time, Mohan is anyway unique and only one time it was printed and Rohan came. So like that you can implement the unique command. Always keep in mind that unique command always works in a consecutive order. Okay. Now let's see the different different options which are available in unique command. To use the different options in unique command, I have created one file. File name is names.txt. Now here in this name you have, can see that I have the names kept in a consecutive manner. Rohan, Rohan, after that again third time also Rohan is there but it is in a small small case. You can see that R, again Mohan, Mohan, two time Mohan is there but one is capital letter M and another one is small letter M. Second same thing about Aditya I have done, Aditya A is capital letter, A is small letter. After that Sita, two times capital letter, S is capital, again I have written Sita, S in a small letter. Now. Let's clear the screen. Now the first command that we are going to use, first option that we are going to use is hyphen C. Hyphen C will help to find out the repetition of the count. It will show that which fields is how many times is repeated. Now we can see that here Rohan came two times. So you need to understand one more thing that this command is a case sensitive, right? Capital and small, it will differentiate. So two times Rohan came one time, Rohan one time, and small letter Rohan came one time, Mohan one time, and again small letter Mohan came one time, Aditya capital letter one time, small letter in A one time, Sita two times in capital letter, and one time in a small letter, the first word of the letter is small one time, okay? Now what if I wanted to see only those names which are in repeated order? For that, what I'm going to do, unique hyphen d names dot text 
So show me those names which are coming in repeta repetition. So Rohan and Sita is only names which are coming more than once except you can see that other names are coming in only one one time. Okay. Now what if just print all those repetition of the names. Now you can see that Rohan, Rohan, Sita, Sita. It came with all the repetition of the names. Now you can see that in the above that two times Rohan came in the capital letter, first order of the letter of the capital word, and again one time Rohan came in a small letter. But what if I just don't want to that case sensitive? I, uh, case sensitive. I wanted to ignore the case. I wanted to match the fields, but not the case. Don't look for the capital and the small. Then in that scenario, what we are going to do? What we will do? We will use another option, and name of that option is hyphen names dot text now you can see that rohan came only one time mohan came only one time aditya only one time and no capital any small only one sita also came one time now if i wanted to see the count then unique hyphen c now you can see that in the previous uh, uh, hyphen c command when i executed at that time rohan came two times now it is three because right now i have given the ignore case sensitive so rohan came three times mohan two times one is capital letter another one is small aditya again two times one is capital letter one is small sita three times two times is capital letter and one one is small the first word of the letter is small okay now we will make let's clear the screen first now we will make some changes to our names.txt file. So let's go inside. Now you can see that previously only names are there. Now I have given some sort of a serial number ID of to those names with a blank space in the middle. Okay. Now let's save this one. Now what we will do, we will run again unique command. Now you can see that all the names are coming. That's why because the first word is a, it is identifying as a number, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the unique numbers are there. So that's why all the unique different names are coming. Now what if I wanted to manage the values with respect to a different field instead of this uh, serial id then in that scenario i'm going to use another command and that command name is unique hyphen f field now i wanted to tell which field you wanted to skip i wanted to skip the first field in which serial number is given skip and after that give so show me the unique of this command unique of um, unique values okay not the repetitive one then what we will do after names dot text see now you can see that now what if i wanted to see unique values count or you can say case sensitive ignore case that scenario hyphen f1 skip field and here i am going to mark it as hyphen i previous command did not work properly so hyphen i now you can see that one four six eight so that's how hyphen f i one works now instead of that hyphen f i is there now i wanted to see the count also in that scenario now you can see that one came zero one one came three times zero four one came two times two zero six uh two times zero six i aditya came two times three sita came zero eight id number three times okay let's clear the screen and there is another way we can also compare with the character separator for example let's play the name again cat names dot text here i am can write like this unique hyphen s s there are two characters is there one and two but what if I am going to write for right now only one in that scenario name dot text name named sorry spelling is wrong names dot text so only one character nothing is there now what if I am going to make two 
peak now you can see that some uh, from the second it was managing one three four five six seven eight separator character separator it can separate two characters first two and after that from the third one it is uh, comparing the values you can see that rohan rohan mohan aditya now if i want ignore case then just i if i am going to write okay it is invalid i can't write like this i have to write like this i think then also invalid okay i think i got it this is not the way after separator then i mentioned two field you have to separate then i have to mention what i wanted to separate hyphen yeah now this is the way how i can present now you can see that it is managing or comparing the files files after the skipping the two characters rohan mohan aditya sita now let's clear the screen now if you can see that here cat names dot text here you can see that there are multiple names which are in repeated order but what if any names are not in repeated order for example i won't give uh, in your case sensitive i will write unique and i want to see only those names which are not repeated in that scenario what i'm going to do unique and option i'm going to choose hyphen u names dot text so you can see that okay it is coming as a first order so what i will do i will go inside names dot text and i'm going to remove all that serial number okay all the numbers of serial number is removed now let's save it and let's run the unique hyphen u names dot text now you can see that rohan small letter came one time mohan capital letter or the first or the capital letter one time mohan with a small letter only one time aditya aditya is capital in a small and sita is small now what if i also add ignore case hyphen e u and i ignore case and after that file name none that's because not a single field now available which is not coming in which are not presented in non repeated manner so we have learned some new new command of unique and options we have seen the options of hyphen c if i wanted to see the count of that repeated values how many values are repeated now we have also seen the option of hyphen d hyphen d what it will do it will print only only those lines which are repeated we have also seen uh, use of a hyphen i that is ignore case and if, okay now we have seen the field if i want to compare with the second field third field for that hyphen f is there character separator is also there hyphen s we have seen this type of options now what we will do we will go to the hacker rank and we will try to solve in linux cells some of the programming challenges of unique command so let's go there in the first problem it is asking this in this challenge we practice using the unique command to eliminate consecutive repetitions of a line where a text file is piped through it given a text file remove remove the consecutive repetitions of any line so you can see the sample input uh, consecutive repetitions lines of is there and output consecutive repetitions repetitions lines are moved to only single one if 200 is there then only 100 only 100 is present same thing with 01 same thing with 02 but only with consecutive you can see that after 01 again 00 is there so that was not removed so we know we have to use the unique command so we will use without any option the default one what we will write we will write unique now let's run the code test case zero successful let's submit the code okay this one is also got successful let's go to the second problem now in the second problem it is saying that in this challenge we practice using the unique command to eliminate consecutive repetitions of a line where a text file is piped through it given a text file count the number of times each line appears itself only consecute only consider consecutive repetitions display the space separated count 
space space covenant respectively there shouldn't be any leading trailing spaces please note that the unique hyphen c command by itself will generate the output in a different format than the one expected here now if you remember in the in the example whenever i've used hyphen c command some spaces was added in the middle so what they are asking is there should not be any space so what we will do first of all i'm going to use unique hyphen c to see the repetitions of the count so run the code here so test case zero successful obviously because our answer is correct but some added space is there so to remove the space what i'm going to use i'm going to use cut command cut hyphen c and uh, two here from the leave from the two space character leave it and from there you can begin let's run the code here okay again it is failed let's see the reason okay let's make it four this time let's make it six yeah that will be better Okay, now it is working. So let's make it eight. I think eight will accept. Okay. I can see that here zero zero is there, but number was cut. So it is between six to eight. Seven should be there. Run the code again. Right. I think this time it will be successful let's see yeah test case zero but successful now let's submit test code submit the code zero one to both the, all the three test courses got successful so this programming challenge got solved now let's see the third one okay in this programming challenge they are asking is given a text file count the number of times each line repeats itself only consider consecutive repeat and display the count the, the line and separated by a space display the count the line separated by a space there shouldn't be any leading trailing the spaces please note that unique hyphen c command itself will generate the output in a different format this time compare the consecutive lines in a case insensitive manner so if a line x is followed by case variant the output should count all of them as the same but display only the form of x in the second column so as you might observe the case below a a and a are also counted as a a okay so as per i understand the problem that number of uh, input is given we have to provide the count of the repetitions with case insensitive correct so we have seen in the example what we will do we will write unique hyphen c okay so okay our answer came successfully but as usual we are using hyphen c so some added extra spaces so we have to remove those space so we will use the exactly what we did in the second command second programming challenge cut hyphen c seven hyphen now about the cut command i've already explained in the previous in my previous video if you didn't watch my previous video i have given video link in the description section please go ahead and watch the video so that you will understand how cut command works okay now let's run the code here sample test case zero got successful let's submit the code here okay here all the three test cases successful now okay here they are saying that given a text file display only those lines which are not followed or preceded by identical replications which are not followed or preceded by identical replications so what are you saying that a double zero is coming a double zero given a text file display only those lines which are not followed okay they are asking print only those lines which are which did not got repeated correct yeah i can see that here a double zero is only came one time after that second capital letter the first word is a capital letter and again zero one zero one so zero one got repeated so like that it was printed so we have seen in the previous one which is the example that we are going to try unique and hyphen u what did hyphen u, u will do it will print only those filled values which are not repeated in a consecutive manner i already told you 
before that unique command only works if the values are in consecutive manner and if the values are not in consecutive manner then what we should have to do we have to use the sort command in pipe symbol with the help of our pipe symbol after that we can use the unique command now we have written our here command now let's run the code let's submit the code here so three test cases got successful so all the programming challenges of linux of uh, unique command got successful also this is the end of the video if you like this video please like and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for the regularly update updates and in the next video again we are going to solve another one of the important command of unix so stay tuned and keep watching at the channel thank you